So the honeybee's a very powerful pollinator for a few reasons. One is that they're portable. Another is that they're, um, uh, they're really social. They live in these large colonies. They can actually tell one another about where food's located. So the sort of central theme of my personal research interest is really um, animal behavior. So understanding why animals do what they do, how those behaviors evolved, how they're regulated. Um, and a lot of that is centered on social behavior in the honeybee. Despite the fact that human and bee brains are structured really differently, they have similar cell types. So um, for example, the machinery that powers the cell gives it energy. So a cell, something like a neuron, um, that machinery is actually very similar comparing um, a vertebrate brain to a bee brain. And so we can maybe identify principles that can be applied to other organisms as well. I think it's news for a lot of students that professors run research labs. Um, a lab is a physical space, but it's also a group of people. I have a pretty, I call it a revolving door policy with undergraduates because to me, giving them a chance to be in a lab is really important. That's why they're on campus. That's why we're all here. Right? So I want them to see it if they can. Um, so people can come in and some people love it, some people hate it, some people stay for years, others leave after a semester. One of the benefits of a hands-on approach is it teaches people the process of science, which is both kind of the strengths of the scientific approach, but also the limitations, um, and it helps them set expectations. So for me, this is uh, important for quality of life for individual people, but I think also giving um, students an understanding of the diversity of what's going on in the scientific world. Uh, I did some research in high school and so coming into UK I knew that I wanted to keep doing it. it it's been really really nice because especially if you want to become a scientist you know people don't really tell you how to do that in high school it's kind of like oh you want to do biology I guess that means you have to be a doctor you know um, but there's so many people behind the scenes, you know, doing important work on, on what we consider to be the truth. We know so much about space, we know so much about the Earth, and then there are people that have to figure that out. Um, so I knew, you know, I, I want to be one of those people. Um, and so, you know, coming into contact with Claire and, and all of these graduate students that she has in her lab, um, it's like all of a sudden here's a group of people that want to do that exact same thing. They want to help me get to a place where I can do that. Um, and so that's just been really nice. Uh, there are a lot of end products for research. A lot of research is incremental progress and a general understanding of something. Our goal is to generally understand more about how social interactions regulate behavior. Um, and try to identify general principles that can be applied across all animals, hopefully, presumably.